Kathy, let's talk about uh, one area in this tax reform that means a lot to a lot of the viewers here. And of course, the C-suite, which is a corporate tax rate. Uh, seems like some of the reports are saying that we're going to meet in the middle here or meet around 21 percent. Where do you think we end up here with the corporate tax rate? You know, my bet was always on 20 percent, but because it was such a headline, it would seem to be the flagship of this reform. But I wouldn't be surprised if over the next 24, 48 hours, as they're trying to piece things together, that they, you know, everyone tolerates another percent or two. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard, the, really the hardest thing about this whole process is the arithmetic. Right. Is getting it to all kind of come in under this 1.5 trillion and meet reconciliation targets. So I would guess that, you know, this is worth a, another percent or two to get done. But... Right. Uh, my money's still on 20, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if it crept up just a little. Right, to 20, 21, uh, mm -hmm. or 22, perhaps, to help pay for some of these other uh, aspects, th these other cuts we're, right. we're seeing in the tax reform package. Uh, also, you know, uh, it seems like the Senate bill might be, uh, might be at least, uh, I wouldn't say superseding the House bill, but certainly there's parts of it that seem to be more in favor in the negotiations. Would you agree with that? Well, I'm a, I'm a Senate alum, so I, I guess any Senate alum would tell you that, um, yeah, the Senate bill is going to lead the charge, and I think a House person would probably tell you the opposite. But the Senate bill has certain, uh, has certain benefits, and that is that it's kind of reconciliation ready. Remember, reconciliation instructions govern only the Senate part of the process. That's where they're kind of most relevant. So because the Senate bill has addressed all those uh, critical rules, you know, you, that kind of gives it a leg up in the negotiations.